Hello and welcome to Non Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is my top 10 matches from the Royal Rumble. So, matches that were not the Royal Rumble. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that beautiful notification bell. And I feel like I've not said it much this week, but I would like to thank every single one of you that have hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, that follow me on Twitter, Instagram, that DM me, that are coming on the podcast in the future. Every single one of you. Um, just make doing this fun, really, really, really fun. I love, I'm up early in the morning to watch wrestling, I'm watching wrestling even more than ever just now, um, and I'm just loving every single minute of it. <laughs> right guys, so let's get into my top 10 wrestling matches from um, a Royal Rumble. So first, I'm going with a kind of controversial one, with number 10, Brock Lesnar versus John Cena versus Seth Rollins from 2015. Arguably the worst Royal Rumble took place in 2015, <laughs> but this match was awesome. Of course Lesnar got the win here, but um, it made Rollins look great, 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 <laughs> and uh, it, it just done things right, it just felt good. So that was number 10. Number 9, we've got Kurt Angle versus Chris Benoit, 2003, a great match. These two guys always put on a hell of a show, a hell of a show in the ring together, and um, it was a great match. Now, Chris Benoit is in this list, I think, another once or maybe even twice. Obviously, I have to say, anything that he'd done outside of wrestling, I do not agree with. I, he was a terrible person for what he'd done outside wrestling. This is just his in-ring work and the character of the in-ring. Nothing to do with him personally. He was a terrible person for what he'd done. But, Kurt Angle versus Chris Benoit, a great match, 2003. Number eight, this one was one that I really enjoyed when I first watched it. So it was John Cena versus Omega, um, last man standing match, 2007. This was a brutal match and it made people kind of start paying attention to Omega, oh, oh mate, Omega, <laughs> uh, really pay attention. Unfortunately, obviously Omega passed away. Oh, mate, my God, passed away. <laughs> Unfortunately, he passed away. Um, I think there would be a, a big future for him there. Especially, yeah, there was a lot that he could have still done. Number seven from Royal Rumble 2000, Hardy Boys versus the Dudley Boys. Jeff Swanton of the balcony kind of part was obviously really good. Um, Jeff having those kind of highly real moments in these, these types of matches was what he done, and he had one here. This is probably one of the, the only Royal Rumbles that you can say that nearly every match prior to the Royal Rumble really meant something and it really kind of meant more than the actual Royal Rumble like cool, the, the, the Rumble was a cherry on top of the cake all the other cool matches were there before it as well Number 6 Chris Jericho vs The Rock um, 2002 unlike other title matches this one at the Rumble kind of felt Rumble felt that it, it was a, a rivalry that was going on like sometimes you just get oh we're going to put you and you in a WWE title match um, at the Rumble you know who's going to win it do you know what I mean like this one was unsure like it really felt a strong rivalry it was yeah it was just a really cool kind of thing to be doing number 5 Bret Hart versus Razor Ramon 1993 I think this one goes a lot kind of under the radar a lot it's a really cool match and it's a match that people need to kind of start paying attention to. Um, a lot of people I know haven't even really seen this one. They've seen their King of the Ring match and seen a few others, but they've not really watched the Rumble match, which is... Like, it was just before both of these guys became mega over. Now, they were already over, right? But before they became, obviously, Bret Hart and Scott Hall, Razor Ramon. But uh, just before that, it was a really cool match. Number four, we've got Chris Benoit versus Chris Jericho, 2001, the ladder match. Now this one was brutal, and that image that you know the ladder and Chris Benoit jumps out to the outside, when then Jericho hits him with a chair, I think it was, I'm sure it was, um, but that image is like known. <coughs> a really cool match, I love this one. Number three, Mick Foley, Mankind versus The Rock, 1999. This one, 
Look, this won't be remembered as a masterpiece, right? It was those chair sh- shots that Foley took to the head. Like, the... Yeah, taking them, no protection, handcuffed, chair shots. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's remembered for, the brutality of it. Number two, Triple H versus Cactus Jack, 2000. How could I not put this near the top? I remember going to school the next day and talking about this. The street fight is literally one of the best matches that's been took place at the Rumble. And this one outshone nearly everything on that card that night. And number one is the one that I always tell you guys to check out. is a Shawn Michaels versus Triple H 2004 Royal Rumble last man standing match. This one is amazing. Probably one of my favourite, well it is my favourite non-Rumble match at the Rumble. It had everything, blood, action, story, story, and was just awesome. And it ended in a draw, right? But it was like, it led on to the next thing. Like, I think it was the Hell in the Cell at Bad Blood between Michaels and Triple H that went on to, which was a, a cool Hell in the Cell as well. But um, yeah, that's my top 10, guys. That's my top 10 list. What's yours? Let me know in the comments below, but you, your top 10 matches that have took place at a Royal Rumble. Um... Yeah, let me know what runs you are. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that beautiful notification bell. And I'll see you here Friday tomorrow for the SmackDown review. And I've got a few other things coming up this weekend as well. So enjoy the rest of your day, guys.